In a couple of days, the third season of Sex Education premieres on Netflix. So that's why today on The Summarizer, Sex Education Season 1 and 2. This is the story of Otis, a teenager having trouble developing his sexuality, who can't even touch himself because of the traumas his parents left him as a kid, and also because his mother, Jean, is a sex therapist who has little respect for his privacy. And in the high school, there are a lot of other characters, and they are Eric, who is Otis's best friend and is always happy except when he gets picked on by the school bully named Adam, who also has a couple of problems with impotence and stuff like that, and he's also the son of the principal of the school. The other main character is this girl named Meeve, who sleeps with Jackson, the classic school jock, who wants to have a serious relationship with her even though Maeve doesn't want to. And finally there's Amy, who's Adam's girlfriend and also Maeve's friend. Oh, and also a bunch of secondary characters, but for now, they don't matter. What matters is that one day Otis and Maeve find Adam hiding in the toilet because he took three Viagras, so using what he learned from listening to his mother, Otis solves all that problem with some weird therapy. Maeve then realizes that he can make some money by having Otis provide sex therapy to the school's students and proposes him to run the business and be partners. At first, the clinic doesn't work, but everything changes when they go to a party and Otis gives free therapy to a couple and helps them reconcile. So the next day, the word spreads and now everyone wants the advice of the wise Otis. Little by little, he's going to start falling in love with Maeve, who is pretty disinterested in that love thing and is more than happy to have Jackson as her friend with benefits. But everything starts to get complicated when Jackson asks Otis for help so he can conquer Maeve. And even though at first he doesn't want to tell him anything, then he accidentally gives him information about Maeve's likes and hobbies, which Jackson uses to get her attention and of course they start to work. While all this was going on, Otis meets Ola, who is the daughter of a plumber who is flirting with Otis's mother. Oh, and he also meets Lily, a girl desperate to lose her virginity with anyone she comes across. Meanwhile, when Jackson goes back to Otis for more advice on how to win Maeve over, he tells her to make a public declaration of love, or something super cheesy like that, which Maeve hated and thought was stupid. Jackson sets up a musical for her in the cafeteria to ask her to be his girlfriend, and everyone's surprised she says yes. So a month passes since Jackson and Maeve became boyfriend and girlfriend, Otis has no longer worked with her at the sex clinic, and now he has free time for his friend Eric, whom he invites to see a movie. But when it's time to leave, Otis is late and Eric leaves alone, and instead of catching him on the next bus, he prefers to go with Maeve to investigate who is sending private pictures of one of the popular girls at school, who doesn't want the whole school to know that they are hers. At the end of that episode, it didn't really matter who the photos were of, or who was sending them, because all the girls join in saying that they were hers and ending the threat together. On the other hand, as expected, everything goes wrong on Eric's birthday. Apart from being left alone, he gets lost, his wallet is stolen, and he has to walk home. But on the way home, some guys harass him and beat him up, which makes the two friends end up arguing. After that, Otis finally decides to face his own problems and goes to look for Lily, but he can't do anything because he keeps getting flashbacks of his traumas and has a panic attack. With all these problems on top, things start to change when he realizes that Ola is going to study at the same school, and as they get along very well, he invites her to go with him to the dance. Once there, the two couples have an awkward encounter, and when Ola asks Otis about Maeve, he tells her that she has nothing to worry about because, for him, Maeve is like an unattainable lioness, and Ola is like a goat, or a kitten, more at his level. Obviously, this makes Ola pretty angry, and she leaves him alone at the dance, but fortunately for him, Eric is there, and they are friends again, so everyone's happy. In the middle of the dance, one of the students buys drugs from Maeve's brother and ends up wanting to kill himself because a girl doesn't like him, but Otis says a few words to calm him down and ends up saving him. Or something like that. The point is that there Maeve realizes that Otis is in love with her and that's why Jackson tells her that he was paying Otis to tell him what he had to do to win her over. And all that gets Otis sent to hell for the second time that night. The next day, the school principal calls them in because he found the boys drugs and believes that this whole clinic thing is just a method to sell drugs. So Maeve accepts responsibility in her brother's place and as a result is suspended from school. On her way out, she runs into Jackson and they have a fight, ending their relationship once and for all. Meanwhile, Eric continues to deal with Adam, who keeps bothering him every time he can until Eric gets fed up and they start a mini fight that makes them end up kissing. And after that, they flirt between classes, but Adam gets sent to a military school. Later, Otis reconciles with his friends. For that, he writes a letter to Maeve asking for forgiveness and making her realize that she actually likes Otis too. 
But he also apologizes to Olaf for the way he compared her to Maeve and tells her that he does like her. So they end up kissing, but just at that moment, Maeve was coming to visit Otis and finds them in the middle of a kiss. When Olaf leaves, she leaves Otis harder than a rock, and he has no choice but to do something that I can't tell you for the first time in his life, leaving all his traumas behind. And so ends the first season of Sex Education. But the story continues in season two. It all starts with Otis, who now has finally been able to overcome his problem from the previous season, but what he can't do is to do it with Ola, because every time they try, it doesn't work. And on top of that, to make it worse, Otis's mother and Ola's father start dating. Maeve starts working in a shopping mall, but soon things start to get complicated when her mom comes back into her life with her new half-sister. She also has a new neighbor named Isaac, who is the most hated character of the whole season. On the other hand, Eric finds out that Adam is no longer going going back to school because he's going to stay in the militarized school. And at the same time, a new guy named Rahim arrives at school and quickly starts hitting on Eric. So they start dating, but everything gets complicated because Adam doesn't last at all at the military school and ends up going back to high school. So Eric will have to choose between the two. Meanwhile, at Otis's house, the situation is pretty complicated because Ola's dad is very annoying and Jean can't stand him. But the important thing about Otis's mom is that she is invited to participate participate in a sex education program at school, and as she is a professional, she starts stealing clients from Otis's clinic. The relationship between Otis and Ola also continues to be difficult because although they try several times, Otis can't do it, and because as Maeve managed to be accepted back into the school, they spend time competing for Otis. Yes, because Maeve realized that she is still in love with him. Later, Maeve tells Otis that she likes him and that she gets jealous every time she sees him with Ola. But Otis gets all pissed off because he obviously likes Maeve too, but he thinks it's unfair for him to hear that now that he already has a girlfriend. This makes Otis get into a crossroads, but to end it, Ola tells him to stop talking to Maeve or else she was going to break up with him. And I don't understand for what reason, but Otis chooses to stick with Ola. So he sends her a message telling her that they can't see each other anymore. Later, he meets with Ola to tell her that he's not going to talk to Maeve anymore and to tell her that he loves her, but at that moment, she tells him that they should break up because she likes Lily. So Otis decides that the best thing to do is to organize a little get-together at his house to eat roast chicken and stuff like that and show everyone that he's not sad after their breakup. But Eric takes it upon himself to invite the whole school to the party and everyone arrives. Otis ends up all drunk in front of everyone. He tells them the whole truth about his situation with Ola and Maeve and they both leave the party. Making Otis even drunker and the next days, we find out that he finally did it with the most popular girl in school. Although he was so drunk that when he wakes up and Ruby tells him that they did it, they both wonder if they use protection. So they spend an entire episode trying to figure it out and end up buying the emergency pill. Anyway, in the middle of everything, Jackson injured his hand on purpose so he wouldn't have to compete anymore. So they put him with a tutor to improve his grades. And although at first they didn't get along very well, in the end, Jackson gives her some flirting tips in exchange for her teaching him how to act so he can get into the school play. And they end up becoming super best friends. In another story, Amy was going to school very quietly when a guy harasses her on the bus. At first she doesn't mind, but then she doesn't want to take the bus for fear of meeting this guy again. This experience helps the girls realize that something they unfortunately all share in common is that they have all been harassed, which brings them together and they support Amy so that she can go to school again without fear. In another story, the school's principal's wife tells Otis's mother about her marital problems. Jean gives her advice and since her husband is unwilling willing to cooperate, she asks for a divorce, and after that, the two women become super best friends. But since the principal thinks it's Jean's fault for his wife leaving him, he steals her notebook where she had written down all the sexuality talks that she had had with the students. He makes copies and pastes them all over the school, using this as a pretense to fire her. And speaking of Jean, she starts having problems with Ola's father, because she was used to being alone and he is too suffocating. And then her ex-husband Otis's dad shows up, and after a a few drinks they kiss, enough reason for her partner to break up and to find out that she is pregnant. Anyway, Eric goes with Rahim to a school event that is like a Romeo and Juliet play but quite strange, which despite everything was going pretty well until Adam arrives to interrupt it. Because he calls Eric on stage and in front of everyone tells him that he wants to hold his hand. Eric accepts and then Rahim leaves all sad. 
Back to Maeve, she was all season dealing with her mom, her little sister, and going back to school. At one point, she joined the geek team to participate in knowledge contests, and in the end, they end up winning the cup. But it's not all happiness, because she also begins to suspect that her mom is using drugs again, and with the help of her neighbors, confirms that her suspicions were true. She calls child services to have custody of her little sister removed, and ends up with her family divided and left alone again. Finally, now that Ola is happy with Lily, Otis sends a message to Maeve's voicemail where he asks for her forgiveness, tells her that he loves her and that all he wants is for them to be together. Hours go by and with everything that happened to her, Maeve still hasn't checked her messages. So Otis goes to visit her at her house, but he can't find her. The only one he finds is the nosy neighbor who tells him she's not home and doesn't know when she'll be back. So Otis has the worst idea of the whole season, telling the meanest character in the series to please tell Maeve that he came looking for her and to check his messages. So Otis leaves, and there, Isaac takes advantage of the fact that Maeve conveniently didn't take her cell phone and apparently doesn't even have it locked. So he gets to listen to the messages, and realizing that it might ruin his evil plan to win Maeve over, he deletes the damn message. And so ends the second season of Sex Education. That was season one and two of Sex Education. Comment which series or movie you'd like me to summarize for future videos. See you later. Go to work. Okay. Bye.